Modern Warfare 2 is full of Easter eggs and references, so let's go over every Easter egg in Modern Warfare 2. A spoiler warning if you haven't played or beaten the campaign yet. But the first one is a pretty awesome multiplayer Easter egg taking place on the Santa Center Ground War map and the 6v6 version. And you can find this RV, which has five bullet holes covered with tape on the door. And if you don't know what this is a reference to, it is one of the greatest TV shows of all time, Breaking Bad, which features the exact same RV, which gets shot at in the same five places and covered with tape in the same spots. And the fact that that moment happened whilst the RV was in Mexico and this map is set in Mexico shows incredible attention to detail. The next Easter egg takes us to the campaign mission alone, where once you get the flashlight, then pry open the door in the bathroom, you'll be taken into a bedroom where on a shelf, you will find a small toy dog filed to look exactly like Riley the dog from Call of Duty Ghosts. This little fella was one of the most popular characters from Call of Duty Ghosts. It's really awesome to see the subtle nod to him with this toy on the shelf. Now that isn't the only COD Ghost reference and we'll have another one a little bit later in this video. This next Easter egg is really cool and really subtle and it's on the ground war map Tarak. If you make your way over to the B objective on Ground War or Invasion, you will find that this is modeled exactly after Rust from the original Modern Warfare 2. Now, this map was put in Modern Warfare 2019, but it is, of course, awesome to see it here again since it originally came from Modern Warfare 2. And if it's here in this Ground War map, then they can absolutely bring the whole multiplayer map in at some point in the future. This next Easter egg is taking us over to Amsterdam in the campaign, where there is a street band that are going to be performing performing music that you can go and literally watch to your heart's content. But what you might not realize is that the song they're playing is actually a cover of Billie Eilish's song, Bad Guy. Take a quick listen. Now, this is 100% this song because it's actually credited at the end of the game, part of one of the music tracks. It is slowed down quite a bit from the original, so you might not recognize it, but give it a listen and you'll realize how cool that is. The next Easter egg is a really obscure one, but once I saw it, I just got really excited. And this is on the mission Dark Water, where right at the end, you have to stop the missile strike on the boat. It's actually a load of papers from the Black Ops Cold War ARG called Porn Takes Porn, which was a multi-week Easter egg, which myself in the community took part in discover the secrets and the reveal trailer for black ops cold war well that's been a long time viewer on the channel this is one of the most memorable parts of any call of duty for me so to see it here in this game was absolutely awesome and it's most likely just a reused asset plot there just for decoration but i really liked it nonetheless now, this next easter egg is a bit of a strange one but if we go into also nombre and make our way into diago's bedroom he has a display that has a load of call of duty watches which are all from previous cod battle parts and store bundles. One of them specifically is Snoop Dogg's watch from the Snoop bundle in COD Vanguard. Now, this next one is also a very obscure one, but there's a load of death screen quotes you can get in the campaign, and one of them is a quote from Perseus. This can be seen in two ways, as Perseus is the main villain within the Black Ops Cold War campaign. Perseus in real life is an urban legend of a Russian spy working within the US during the Cold War, but there's no proof he ever existed. However, with the way that Perseus is spelled in this death quote, it's probably probably actually relating to someone called Aulus Perseus Flaccus, who was a Roman poet. I think either way, Infinity Ward knew what they were doing, putting this name as one of the death quotes, so I'm putting it in here as an Easter egg. Here is a really cool, funny Easter egg that's over in the Spec Ops mode during the Fender Mount Zaya mission, which is basically survival mode. In the mode, you can buy AI as reinforcements, and one of these randomly generated marines might have the name Sandman, which of course, any fan of the Modern Warfare series will know that that is the call sign of an operator in Delta Force in MW3. Served alongside Captain Price, Soap, Ghost, Roach. It's part of Operation Kingfish. Maybe with all this teasing, we might see Sandman at some point during the season. For these next Easter eggs, we're jumping to some amazing references found within that Amsterdam mission. Now, as soon as you spawn and walk down the road, you will see a sign right at the very back which is a sign for Burger Town. Of course, this is a Modern Warfare game and it wouldn't be one without a Burger Town reference, so I'm glad it's there. But if we make our way to the bike shop, you can see that they're selling a bunch of t-shirts and one of them is a t-shirt for the Verdansk Football Club, which is of course a reference to Verdansk and the stadium, which was absolutely iconic. For this next section of all Easter eggs, we're going to be talking about some absolutely legendary quotes and references to the older games. We're going to start at the end of Prison Break during the cutscene Ghost says this. 
Shepard burned us. Anyone that played the original Modern Warfare 2 will obviously in the feels with that quote as that can be a direct reference to Ghost's death in the original Modern Warfare 2 as he literally burned Ghost's body. And I swear, MW, please don't put that in the next game. This next Easter egg is one of the most popular Easter egg references in the whole game. It's during the mission Ghost Team where once you get out of the underground tunnel, Az needs to input a code to get into a warehouse and Vargas replies with the code being 627, which is a reference to Captain Price's prisoner number in the original Modern Warfare 2. And in that, you fly into the Gulag and you rescue Price, which is such a classic mission. And this is referenced another time later on in the mission as well. Right at the end of the prison break mission, you hear Price say this quote. Oh, we are leaving. Which is a classic callback to the COD 4 mission Crew Expendable. On your face, soldier. We are leaving. Now, when you play alongside Captain Price in any campaign mission, as well as in Spec Ops and multiplayer, and you throw a flashbang at him, there's a chance that he will say this. How'd a Muppet like you pass selection? How'd a Muppet like you pass selection? Ah, absolutely perfect. Now, if we roll over to the mission Recon by Fire, Price says this, which you can hear in all gillied up from COD 4. By the path. If you have to maneuver, do it slow and steady. Try to anticipate their path. If you have to maneuver, do it slow and steady. No quick movements. And if that wasn't enough, the entire mission is basically a reference to all gillied up, which is amazing. Another big Easter egg is Price's obsession with cigars carrying over from the original trilogy. During Recon by Fire, there is a rare conversation that you can hear where Price offers Laswell a cigar. College Cape. I still run, John. I just gotta stop smoking. You smoke, Laswell. I do. My wife hates it. Just you and a cigar, perhaps? No, thanks, John. If we fast forward to the mission Ghost Team, Bryce is giving you cover fire in a chopper and Graves shoots down the chopper. So in retaliation, we go and kill Graves and Ghost reports that everyone's okay, but mentions this about Price. Ghost, and we're ready. Graves is KIA. How's Price? Angry. Lost a good cigar in the crash. Pilot's okay too. Out. Now, even back in Modern Warfare 3, Price got himself involved in a helicopter crash, and even after that, and a brawl with Makarov, there's nothing Price likes better than lighting up a cigar. And that's what he does in Modern Warfare 3, but clearly after this encounter, he wanted to, but lost all his cigars after that helicopter crash. Now, this is a really deep and intricate Easter egg, but when Vargas meets Soap and Ghost and is taking them through Las Almas, his partner says this to Ghost. With your mask... You will fit in well if you go. So now, this is an indirect reference to how Ghost ended up getting his original mask. You can learn the original Ghost's backstory through a series of comics published. A ghost infiltrates Manuel Robas's home in Mexico during Dia de Muertos when his men turned on him and he was put in a coffin with his dead comrade and escaped by using that guy's skull as a tool. Now, since Dia de Muertos or Day of the Dead is a national holiday celebrated in Mexico, this can explain why Ghost has such a familiarity with Mexico and his PTSD obsessions with skulls. How could this be an Easter egg video without mentioning this iconic quote at the start of the mission El Sinombre? <laughs> what the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? Now, during the final mission countdown, there is a moment where Price gets into a situation and Gaz drags him to safety. And when doing so, says this line. <sighs> you broken? I'm good. Go, you got this. And this is exactly what Price said to Gaz in MW19 after the Piccadilly hostage bomb. Hey everybody, stay calm. We're gonna get you out of here. You broken? Now during the AC-130 mission, Graves mentions this when you look at the church. Okay, so it's cartel, but do not fire on the church. Civilians may be internal. This is a direct throwback to the AC-130 mission from COD 4 called Death From Above, where you hear a very similar quote. Roger that, we're there. Start talking. You are not authorized to level the church. Do not fire directly on the church. And this is a pretty tongue-in-cheek one, but during the final parts of the last mission countdown, during the missile sequence, Laswell mentions about the Pentagon, Price replying with this. 30,000 people who aren't. Finish it. And the specific number of 30,000 can be linked to this iconic part of Shepard's speech at the very end of the OG Modern Warfare 2. Five years ago... I lost 30,000 men in the blink of an eye. 
Now, during the driving mission in the campaign, Gaz comes across a bit of a roadblock, and his instinct brings out this quote. Shock and awe. Now, these words are a reference to what Price said to Gaz in a cutscene in MW2019 where they speed through a police barricade. Gaz saying this shows that he's always listening to what Captain Price has to say and really sees him as a bit of a mentor. Now, this wouldn't be a video of every Easter egg if we didn't cover the most obvious one, which is right at the post credit scene where we have this, which is, of course, a reference to no Russian from the original Modern Warfare 2. Now, that was storming through an airport, killing innocent civilians while this cutscene makes it seem like it's a plane hijack this time. One of my favorite parts of the campaign is when everyone becomes part of Ghost Team. And in doing so, everyone puts on a ghost mask, which is a homage to how the story began in Call of Duty Ghosts. And Matt, I just got chills when I saw everyone putting on the mask, especially Simon Riley, because he resembled his original look from the original Modern Warfare 2 with this, which is absolutely awesome. And this could also maybe hint at a ghost solo game. It was reported about a week ago that the developers of Modern Warfare 2 want to create a spin-off based on the origins of Simon Ghost Riley. The writers for Modern Warfare 2 noting that the character's iconic mask and other superficial elements presented the team with interesting questions while developing the game. And we already pointed out the similarities between Recon by Fire and All Gillied Up, and in another mission, Dark Water, it's also extremely similar to two classic COD missions. The Oil Rig Infiltration being very similar to the only easy day was yesterday from MW2 and the second half of this mission with the moving crates on the boat is very similar to crew expendable from the original COD 4. Another really awesome easter egg is the prison break moment with Vargas with the whole way that we do it and the animation and reaction is incredibly similar to the prison break scene with Captain Price in the OG MW2. Both Vargas and Price have very similar reactions to when they enter and I think it's just a really nice homage that the developer has put in there. We have another easter egg that relates to Modern Warfare 2019 and during the alone mission when you get to the auto repair shop there is a laptop that tells the codes for one of the safes and we'll get into that in just a moment but on that screen it has a keypad combination being 451 and if we go back to MW 2019 Barkov's office lock is the code 451. It's also a reference to a 1953 dystopian novel called Fahrenheit 451 by writer Ray Bradbury. Let's move on to one of the most obvious easter eggs within the campaign and it is the safes. There are three safes in total, one on El Sinombre which can be found in Diego's bedroom and the code that you're going to look for is the date that's found on a portrait in the same room as the safe. This being the code 2219. Once you've accessed the safe, you'll be rewarded with a silenced Lockwood 300 shotgun and an armor vest that can carry some plates. Coming over to the mission alone, there are two safes to find during it. The first is inside the office in the coffee shop, but in order to access it, you're going to need to use a prying tool. And you can work out the safe code from the clue on the calendar in the same room, with the code being 101080. We're inside here, you're going to find a silenced gold desert eagle and a throwing knife. Now, the second safe is actually not too far away from the first one. It can be found inside the workshop office during the same portion, and the safe code is on the computer in the room, which we mentioned a little moment ago, with the code being 376080. And inside of that safe, you're going to find a crossbow and another throwing knife inside the safe. Only within that mission and one other mission can you get your hands on the crossbow as it's not in multiplayer. You can find a secret weapons cache during the mission El Nombre on the ground floor of the penthouse in the garage. Be a guard patrolling it, but once you've taken him down, you can find yourself some really cool weaponry, including a golden AK-47 and another crossbow. Now, one of the most iconic characters from the Modern Warfare 2 series returns in a small cameo during during the mission ghost team on your team you have an unnamed soldier who can take on many different names and one of the names that this character can be is none other than ramirez and anyone that is a huge og mw2 fan will remember all the memes about when you played as ramirez now there is at least eight different names that this character can take on and there's a chance that all of these names are just names of developers so this might not be a direct reference to ramirez but the fact you can get the name alone makes it all the more worth it to put in this video
Now, this wouldn't be an Easter egg video without, of course, there being teddy bears within Modern Warfare 2. Now, they are littered throughout all of the campaign missions, but some particular locations is during the mission borderline. The first house you go into to de-escalate and there's a guy about to hit you with a baseball bat. If you make your way past him and go into one of the bedrooms to the right, in the darkness, you will find one of these classic Modern Warfare teddy bears just sat there. And during the mission alone, you will find another shelf where you can find a teddy bear and also a blue bear bunny and anyone that's a fan of Treyarch games will see that and think hmm that's a bit mysterious and on the final mission for modern warfare countdown when you're scaling down the building it is an obvious homage to the call of duty ghosts mission federation day where you're doing the exact same thing so this video is just scratching the surface of easter eggs and details of in modern warfare 2 so if you enjoy this video and you want to see more like this then please hit that like button and subscribe to not miss more content like this but if you want to see 25 incredible secret details in this game click the box on screen right now and I'll be with you in just a moment.